Hello friends, welcome to the Score More Aptitude channel. So in this video, we will see the possibility cases of psilocins. Okay. So in this video, I will show you how to derive the possibility cases based on the, I mean the possibility conclusions based on the given statements. Okay. So let us assume if the given statement is in the form of all A or B all a or b okay so if the given statement is in the form of all a or b so what possibilities we can derive from this given statement so the possibilities we can derive from this one is some b are some b are not a is a possibility is a possibility okay if all a or b so that means actually some b's are not a is a possibility so another possibility is all a or b so then all b all b or a is a possibility is a possibility so if the given statement is in this form, so we can derive these two possibility conclusions from the given statement. Okay. So if all A or B, so then we can say some B or A, some B or not A is a possibility. Okay. So if all A or B, so then all B or A is a possibility. Okay. So to make you understand these two possibility cases we have derived from the given statements, I will take the, you know, Venn diagram. Okay. I will draw the Venn diagram for you. Okay. So it is given that all A are B. So that means F, this is the B and A is going to be this one. Right. So from this all A are B. So right. So all A are B. So it is clear from this Venn diagram. But here some B. So that means actually this portion. So some B are not A is a possibility. Obviously here from this it is clear that some B are not A is a possibility. So why it is not a certain? Why it is a possibility? From this actually it is clear that some B are not A. But why it is a possibility? Why it is not a certain? For example, let us take the another case. For example, if A is equal to B, so that means actually both are equal. So in that case, if you take, if this one is the A and B is also of the same size. So B is also I am drawing on the same side. So that is A comma B. So both are here. So in this case, what happened actually? Some B are not A is going to be false. So here it is a true and here it is false. So there is an uncertainty is there. So that's why actually some B or not A is a possibility only. Okay. So next one is all B or A is a possibility. So here actually if you take this one, all B or A is not possible here. But in this case, if A and B are both are equal. So in this case, all B or A is a possibility right so when all a or b actually two are possible one is this case is possible and this case is possible there is no certainty so that's why actually possibilities arrive so those two possibilities are one is this one and another one is this one so whenever you see all a or b so then you can say some b or not a is a possibility and all b or a is a possibility Okay, so these are the two possibility conclusions we can derive from the given statement if the given statement is in the form of all A or B. Okay, I hope you got this one. Okay, and next one is if the given statement is in the form of some A or B. Okay, if the given statement is in the form of some A or B. So then we can say that, then we can say that all a or b all a or b is a possibility all a or b is a possibility 
okay and next one is all b if all a or b is a possibility then all b or a is a possibility from this one okay from the above one we can say that all b or a is a possibility and next one is some a or b so that means actually some a or not also b is a possibility right some a or b so that means actually some a or not b is also possible so some a or not b is a possibility if some a or not b then some b or not a is also possibility from this i am deriving okay so some b or not a is a possibility okay so if the given statement is in the form of some a or b so then we can derive these four possibility conclusions okay so some a or b all a or b is a possibility okay if all a or b is a possibility then all b or a is also possibility so from this some a or b so that means some a's are not b is also possibility okay if some a or not b then some b are not a reversing this one is also possibilities okay so to make you understand this one so again i will you know explain with the help of venn diagrams so to understand you some a or b okay some a or b so that means actually two cases here possible so if i take this one as a and this one as the b okay some a or b okay right so here some a or b so this is the you know representing the given statement okay so if you take this one some a or not b so this is the case okay some a or not b is a possibility right so that means actually this one we can possibility case we can derive from this given state and next one some b or not a is a possibility obviously this space okay so this one is some a or not b so that is and this space is some b or not a so this possibility is also we can derive from the given statement and next one is if some a or b so this is also true in the case of if a and b are of same size and equal okay let us assume this one is the a and again i am drawing the b is also same size and same element so that means a comma b is like this so in this case also we can see we can say some a or b so if you take some a obviously they are also actually going to be in the b so that means actually some a or b is also actually true in this case okay if a and b are of same size and both are equal so in this case we can say if some a or b then all a or b is a possibility if both are of equal size and both are is having the same kind of the elements okay so then all a or b is a possibility is also true if we consider this case which is actually satisfying the given state then if all a or b is a possibility then all b or a is also a possibility okay is also a possibility okay so i hope you got this one so in the next videos we will see some problems solving based on this you know syllogism possibility cases so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel thank you once again